You're watching Two Button Crew. Your daily Nintendo of fandom. I'm Scott. And I'm Simeon. Good to see you here. Good Simeon. to see you. Hey, we've been talking about Cledbert a lot and <laughs> Cledbert advertising. Yeah. And what more clever advertising than really, really good box art? That's right, Simeon. I've been excited to do this show, and normally we do best <laughs> stuff and then worst stuff. But the worst box art show exists, and it is one of our finest. Yes, it's probably one of my absolute favorite episodes. If yeah. you haven't seen it yet, go back and click on it. It's a classic. <laughs> Let's check out some of the best box art ever, Simeon. Indeed. I really like the <sighs> Shinobi 3DS box art. And this was a Sega game for the 3DS. It wasn't too popular, um, but they sure did a nice job showing such an intense ninja on the front cover. Very good close-up. I cannot believe that I had not seen this box art until I had um, seen that you had picked this. This really? is so cool! Yeah. Why don't people talk about this? This is awesome. We got to play this game the one year that I went to E3. I was walking past Sega and they're like, here's a 3DS with Shinobi on it. And I was like, all right. So I played it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And um, the box art's awesome. Yeah, very good art style. All right, uh, my first pick um, is something really classic, and this one's just epic, okay? It's called Liberty or Death. I honestly have no idea what this <laughs> game is actually about. I'm sure it has to do with the Revolutionary War, but yeah. it's got all the founding fathers on there. It's got mm. George Washington. Do and we need to have our Thomas. I, I think so. This is the most patriotic, uh, patriotic, Video game box art, and I like how it just randomly over in the corner it says Revolution. Revolution. Well, it was originally planned for the Wii, and then it got put on the SNES. <laughs> got put all the way back. So, Liberty or Death, it's just cool. Poor president with the E over his face, though. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't a president. He was a founding father, though. A lot of people think that <sighs> Ben Franklin was a president, but he wasn't. Thanks for uh, <laughs> cluing me in on his name. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think the Super Mario 3D Land could possibly be like the best 3DS box art. Not only does it look a lot of fun, they've got a good art style going for them in this uh, 3D Land game, but I think they make great use of those shadows implying the 3D effect on this game. And it's very nice that Mario's got the tail in his shadow. Yeah, I'm just seeing that for the first time. That's uh -huh. so cool. That is very The little details. Cool. And also, uh, you can see that the bricks next to the uh, question mark block are covering the 3DS um, sidebar, as well as the fire plant. So it's just a little nod to the 3Dness. Doesn't that just that, that look like a fun game? It it's, makes me want to play the game. It does even indeed. I've already beaten it. I I haven't beaten it yet. I don't think I've played it yet. Ooh. So. So uh, this one's a classic. Whoa. Uh, this is uh, a Famicom version, but the uh, U.S. version is the same. This is Castlevania. And the Japanese up there translates to uh, Thunder Thighs and the Long Whip. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the, uh, uh, was it, Wizards and Warriors 2, where it has the Fabio on the cover. Yes. I, was, I was this close to including that oh, one. Same. You know this, this show is best box art, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just Obvious cool. Anyway, but yeah, Dracula. Oh, it's just really cool. The whip and you captures the adventure. It makes you want to go up there and whip that smile right off of Dracula's just face. Whip him. Just mm. nay nay him. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Just nay nay this <laughs> question mark block. All right. I really like the Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds box art. No, I did not just search for 3DS games. It's a pure coincidence. At first, I liked this one because I was like, oh, how interesting. A Zelda game without Link on the cover. And then I zoomed in to this size and I saw that Link is indeed there in his yes. painting form. Um, but they really put a lot of attention on the beautiful vista with the Master Sword in there. Mm -hmm. I also appreciate the uh, light and dark world represented in the Triforce in the logo. Indeed. So I think that this is a great box cover and um, it just happens to be like the Zelda gold themed yeah. um, just because of the yeah, way they did sure. the sunlight in this cover to make it look like that. Wait, so. what, was it an anniversary game? I can't remember. Yeah. Every every I, every year is my anniversary, oh, and yeah. Zelda has an anniversary every year. <laughs> that's true. 
That's not what I meant. But I, don't, you, I don't think it was a big one. It wasn't. We're a big one. in the thirtieth year right now, and we're getting Zippo. Well, well, that's true. We're getting. We got uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends, and what? There's... We're getting the announcement for the mm -hmm. Zelda Wii. So that's cool. The unveiling. Okay, so Sin good and pick. Pun good pick. Sin and Punishment Star Successor. This mm. one's just insane. Do you know why I picked this cover besides it just being good? Does it remind you of something like Mega Man ish? Oh, well, kind of reminds kind me. Kind of. What? What do you think? It, it's better than the actual graphics of the game. Yes. <laughs> Looking at you. Wow. You should. What you should do to play this game is tape the cover over the TV screen and then play the game <laughs> because you'll have a better experience for your eyes at oh, least. Because this game looks terrible. If that was the art style in the game. Oh. Hoo wee. When you get, I was so looking forward to getting to this boss mm. and playing that level, and that when I got to that level, I was like, "Wow, he yeah. just looks like a really creepy wrestler." They yeah, might, anyway. they might owe the few sales they had to this box to art. To the box art, indeed. He did indeed. good. All right, I love Captain Toad Ooh. Treasure Tracker. Um, because it does a great job of demonstrating the gameplay of this game. It's all about um, rotating the worlds, the box, and um, I also like how they just disperse Toad, Captain Toad, throughout the box art. You know, there's only one in the game, but they're just showing lots of different fun scenarios. All the and stuff I think that they he did does. a good job. I also appreciate um, the logo, how it is wrapped on the corner. You don't see many things like that. Mm. It's cool. Usually it's on the face. Right. Now it shows the 3D rotation. <laughs> I had to <laughs> include... Scott's like... Oh, golly. I, I think this one was included on our, it was. our worst. It was. I don't see your logic here, Simeon. <laughs> this is so cool. How... Okay, this was... Uh, it's a Nintendo game, okay? It wasn't yeah. released on a Nintendo system. This was for the Intellivision. <laughs> but it's got Mario looking like Tom Selleck with a mm. mullet with a golden Mjolnir <laughs> go going up against Donkey Kong <laughs> who looks like... Oh, like a shark ape with... <laughs> look at those teeth and those eyes. It's the sequel menacing. to Sharknado. Yeah, Shark Ape. All right. Shark Apo. I think I laughed... <laughs> Just as hard at your Thor's hammer joke last time. <laughs> Got oh, all yeah. the Metroid Prime trilogy box oh, yeah. art. Not only was it on a metal case, but it's just really nice. Oh yeah, it, and and the back was really cool too. I, um, it ah oh, yeah. This but, is with the slip t cover taken off, which just leaves you with a very plain, simplistic uh, canvas for the nice Metroid artwork. Indeed, it's it's beautimous, beautimous indeed. Boy, I mean, oh boy, we got a lot. Yes, we do. Okay, so um, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I looked for the best Legend of Zelda that I could find, and this this one was my favorite. So nice. I I really like this one. So thumbs up to you. The moon is sure iconic. Oh yes, so large. And that. Link with the mask just looks really cool. He doesn't look too childish. All right, moving on to my next one here. This is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Mm-hmm. He's got that popping out thing going on again. Yes, he does. And I wonder if Nintendo allows other companies to play with that. I don't know. I haven't uh, researched that, but it'd be funny if they like reserve that right. <laughs> um, but I also like just all the little ghost eyes in the logo. I think that's very clever. Indeed. And um, it almost looks claymation, which is pretty cool. That's true. And they just do a good job showing Luigi's fear and stuff. <laughs> It's got to showcase Luigi's that. Fear is like the best part of those games. Indeed it is. It's what make, gives it its humor. Ho ho! Ho ho! So uh, Mega Man box art is known for being really cheesy mm -hmm. and they revisited that in the 9 and 10 games. But this one is better than the 9 and this one's extended. It's a nice balance of like cool and, and cheesy. cheese. Yeah. I, I, I agree. It shows Proto Man with mm -hmm. a sword that you're never going to see him use. <laughs> And it shows Sheep Man looking nothing like he does in the game, <laughs> and Solar Man looking way cooler than he does in the game. Yeah. But ah, oh, it's just yeah. Wow. Cheese, cheesy goodness, but mostly goodness. Xenoblade Chronicles oh, yeah. has a very nice cover. Um, 
it is beautiful. It's you know very nice high definition. Um, I also like sky pictures. Happens oh, to appeal to yeah. me. Um, but they just make a a very mysterious statement. Sticking the sword in the ground. Like you want to know why that sword is in the ground. Whose sword that is? Yeah. Who, What's who going on? What is this like pile of armor? Did someone fall here? And then you also just want to the fight dude. that giant boss. That dude. It's like that... oh. this cover says this game has epic boss battles. Indeed, indeed, it brings to mind like um, Shadow of the Colossus and whatnot with its coolness. I think we did that one. All right. Okay. Well, we've got we've got you've got two more. Two more. Okay. <clears throat> so this one. I'm really upset about because I just found this out. So Mega Man Boxstar is known for being cheesy, like I said. Mm. The original game is the box art's pretty terrible in North America. Yeah. And it's really cartoony and simplistic in Japan. Europe got this box art, which I'm just now seeing. You like this, this one, don't look you? Look at this. This is like an accurate representation. I thought that this was fake. I yeah. thought that somebody went back and said, I'm going to improve uh -huh. the box art. No, this is what they got in uh, Europe. It has all the robot masters looking like they should, wow. Mega Man looking like he should, Wily looking like he should. Yeah. Everything is perfect. That's good, Sam. What in the world? You Why know, did we not get this? You know what I think is really weird is that they even made like country specific box arts back in the day. Like that's, that's so true. much work just to, they're not even, it's not like one box art offends one country or something. It's just like different art styles that's and true. stuff. Though, and one last note that I'd like to point out on that one is that Mega Man 2's box art in Europe was so terrible. Oh, because you like, got excited, didn't you? You're like, I'm going to look up a whole series of European box yeah, art. Yeah, I think it actually made our bad box art episode. Okay. So it, it went from like being the best to like being the worst. That's so funny. Animal Crossing Wild World has a very good box art. Indeed. Just because it simply refers to... Um, the gameplay of going around and around your town and um it's animal crossing is unique for that kind of view where yeah. you're on a round world um also shows you know all the fruit the mail that you can shoot out of the sky with your uh, shots shows a lot of iconic characters good graphic style it appeals to me is it it encompasses. That's a good word for a, for a round so graphic this, approach. This is my last pick, Chrono Trigger. Mm -hmm. To me, this one's the best. It uh, shows not only gameplay against a boss, but it shows like it shows like what's happening. Like you can do team attacks where she's powering him up, mm. and he's gonna cut him down. You see the intense anime hair and anime face <laughs> and anime everything going on here. <laughs> And it's just, it makes you want to pick up and play this game. Plus, it's rated Kids for Adults, K which is a. totally different than rated E. It it's is. very not the same. No, no, it's cooler. There you go. Guys, what do you think of our best box art picks? Yeah, what, uh, go ahead and comment what you think is the best box art, or if we missed any, that is fantastic. Thanks for watching, thanks for being part of the crew. We'll see you later. Signing out.